Ladies and gentlemen, today is a day that will live in infamy. On the morning of September 26th, 2009, I have discovered that the thing of pop, Michael Jackson, has passed away. The singer-songwriter, famous for his appearances in Dirty Dancing and Ghost, died about three days ago and it wasn't even on the TV. Quite how the People's Princess could have died with such little fanfare is beyond me, but I've decided to shoulder the burden that the so-called mainstream media shrugs off. I am honoured to pay tribute to the smooth criminal in the only way I know how. A video game show. What I've done. Moonwalker is a video game starring Michael Jackson who is dead. After being pursued by journalists in Paris, he crashed in a tunnel with his fiancée, Dodo Al-Fayed. Fortunately, however, his memory will live on with Moonwalker, a game based on his most famous thing, whatever it was, what he used to do, I can't remember. The game is quite simple to play. Playing as Michael Left Eye Jackson himself, players must search in houses for hiding children and collect them. Once Michael Jackson has touched enough children, we find a man who he must fight. It can get a bit repetitive hunting down kids and beating off men, but it's a fitting tribute to the man who famously made OxyClean a household name. The game caused controversy when Jackson's wife, Courtney Love, tried to sue the game makers for their portrayal of him in the game. She thought it was well tasteless, even though she let Activision do it in the first place and probably allowed for the game to happen just so she could sue them later because that's the kind of thing she does and she also murders people, probably the bitch. The game features some of Michael Jackson's most famous songs, such as Jailhouse Rock, Blue Suede Shoes, and Ain't Nothing But A Hound Dog. This adds to the authenticness of the game and makes you feel like you truly are the founder of Thug Life himself. It makes me very sad to think of how he died, hanging by his neck after fucking up a kinky wank. Michael Jackson taught me that it doesn't matter if you're black or white, which is the complete opposite message my dad used to teach me. I have fond memories of going out at night with my dad and his big stick, but Michael Jackson taught me that those nights were wrong, very wrong, at least when babies were involved. In conclusions, Michael Jackson was like fucking Jesus and Mark Chapman shouldn't have shot him. Is Moonwalker a good game? Well, I'll tell you one thing, it's certainly not bad. In fact, it's quite a thriller. You'll be glad when you finally beat it, because it's totally off the wall, and I think it's human nature to want to play the best game on Earth. Song. You know, that that one he did. It wasn't as good as the others. Goodbye, England's rose. May you ever grow in a heart. You were the grace that placed itself where the lives were torn apart. Yeah. You called out to our country and you whispered to those in pain. Now you belong to heaven and the stars spell out your name. And it seems to me you lived your life like a candle in the wind. Never fade with the sunset when the rain set in. And your footsteps will always follow you along England's greenest hills. Your candles burned out long before your legend ever will.